You want to talk about this one? Yeah, actually, so this is, well, this is your idea about, or when you were talking oh. about a membrane. Oh, you got that. This is the penthouse of this building, uh, the very top, top part of the building. So it had a membrane on it that had six years of, of a warranty left on the membrane, or four years, something like that. And so the discussion was, well, we don't want to take it off because it's relatively new. And so the company that put the membrane on there, they said, if you want us to give you that uh, remaining warranty on this roof, you actually have to put another layer over the top of our layer <laughs> of our product. <laughs> it was, so, so that's what we did. And uh, that's what this is. It's putting another layer of uh, material over the top of it. And then the eco roof was put on that. Instead of removing, I hope it extended it. Uh, I don't remember the details. I'm sure it extended. It, and it was the same material that was already down. Uh, it was another. Yeah, we had to put another layer of the yeah, modified asphalt. Right? There's the. You can see the modified asphalt strips there, and then there's the new one. That's the new. No, one. that's the old. Oh, that's old, and that's that's the old. Then this is under construction. Putting the new. This black is going over the top of this right here. So this is the old and the black is being put on top of the old. And then the root barrier and everything else was put on top of that. And then it has a cap sheet. It doesn't show that. A cap sheet was put on top of this. It's that same rubber, not rubber, the asphalt. I think that's up there. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we got engineering oh. details. So this house <coughs> violated the city code. <laughs> no, it didn't. Actually, when Peter talks next week, it, I think it's close within the city code. This house, uh, as you see it here, uh, this is what it looked like in 1957 when it was constructed, although this picture was taken in 2007. So in 1957, the house was constructed. It had a uh, uh, modified bitumen uh, asphalt roof that was put on it. The property owner here is amongst all the trees and everything, and as the years went by, this picture was taken in 2003. As the years went by, the leaves fell onto the roof, the uh, little bit, you know, particles accumulated <coughs> on the roof. And if you're in southwest Portland in this part of town, uh, moss grows pretty readily. So the moss started growing and dying and growing and dying, and this guy had a, a, an eco roof, or, or a green roof, or a moss roof in this case, a vegetated roof system without any soil put on the roof just keeps going every year and every year. So we first saw this project, uh, this house. We found this house in 1997 by accident. We just, uh, one of the staff came upon it. And so we tracked it for the next uh, 10 years and talked to the property owner. He did all of his own maintenance. As a matter of fact, this is a very nice property in Southwest. You know, it's probably a million and a half dollar home. And so uh, we asked him, how do you maintain this roof? And he indicated he maintained it himself. And so his land, he has a landscape maintenance company and they do not do the maintenance of this roof. He does it himself. And what he does is once a year, he gets up with a weed whacker and he knocks all the weeds off and then he just leaves it, just cuts them and leaves them lay. And he also, his insurance company back in 97 when he was doing some work on his garage, the insurance company was going to cancel his insurance and he said, go ahead and cancel me out because he had this moss roof. And he said, go ahead, I'll get a, a different company. He, he's not somebody that easily <laughs> gets uh, persuaded. So the company said, okay, we'll, we'll keep your irrigation. So I don't know if they said it like that. That's why. <laughs> uh, but then, so then as the years went by, uh, I went over and I, I, I gave them a call in 2007. I said, Maria, who's his secretary, how's the roof going? She said, oh, it's gone. He took it off. And I said, oh, he took it off. And then she told me when the house was built and everything. So this eco roof here lasted for 50 years before he had a leak and decided that he did need to replace the membrane and then had the, the roof re-roofed. So 50 years is not bad for a moss roof that most of us are afraid of. Now it's not, it wasn't a composite shingle roof that that's definitely going to give you some problems if you leave the moss on, but it, it was this modified bitumen, and I think it was a single ply. No root barrier and no root barrier, right? And of course he did not water it. The and no soil either, he just let the moss go. Right, no soil and stuff like that. So anyway, so this is an example. We're not, we're not recommending this. 
but it's, it's one of those points that's out there that helps us learn and understand uh, some of the issues and things like that. And so now she said, but uh, Maria said, don't worry, Tom, he's going to let it grow again. And I'm thinking, well, how old must he be by now, 50 years? <laughs> right. The roof is 50 years this old. I'm sure he was at least 20 when he did this or What's something. Wrong with that man? So anyway, that's his intent. And uh, uh, so I haven't been back since I took this uh, winter of 2007. So I'll go back and see if it's starting to grow. And, uh, and I'm, I was just joking about the uh, permit stuff. So I think we're going to just... Uh, it, those two slides there, you 2003, is that? Yeah, what, it, what? it's a little confusing, isn't it? This slide was taken in 2003 when the eco roof was on there. This slide was taken in 2007 after the eco roof and the roof was re roofed. But this slide also represents basically what it looked like in 1957 oh, okay. when it was built, because that's what it looked like in 1957. Did he build it back with a built-up roof? Yeah, I think I, it, that's, a, that's the roof right there. I think it's the same, same material. Mm -hmm. Was this sort of intentional, do you think, that he planned it that way, or did this sort of happen that way? I don't think he planned it from the get-go, but as the moss roof started to grow, he liked it, and he left it. And he's a developer, so uh, he knows about construction and things like that. And uh, in 97, when his insurance company was giving some, some uh, flack. He actually had a contractor inspect his home, and, they, and then he gave that to his insurance company, saying, look, it's been up here 40 years, and there are no signs of any leaks, and it hasn't leaked, so I'm leaving it. And then they said, okay, they gave him the report and stuff. So. But would it have the same kind of benefits um, because it's not as thick, and the root system isn't as deep? As yeah, it may not be. It may not work as well for stormwater. We don't know. We never did any testing or anything, so yeah, it's hard to say what the performance. Okay, but it's sort of a sustainable approach. If you can take a product that's going to last for 20 years and it last for 50 years, right? I mean, not, a, not a bad, bad deal. <laughs> but I'm messing with it. And you know, it's interesting. You might think too, as the uh, contractor who installed that roof initially probably did a really good job too. Yeah, that's another key you know, construction. Just and it would be very lightweight. Just moss. <laughs> yeah, look at the economic footprint of putting the green component on that roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no expenditure of carbon or petroleum products. <laughs> Just let it go. 